Hey little painters, it's Tammy with At Home with Empty Canvas. Today we are going to paint a uh, shark. Uh, how does that song go? Shark, 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 baby, shark, 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 shark. Anyways, it's going to be a fun, <laughs> it's going to be a fun little painting. Um, and then for the girls, tomorrow we're going to be painting um, a mermaid tail that you can put your name on. It's going to be a lot of fun. So the colors that you are going to need. White, blue, and black. Just three colors. You're going to need um, your little round brush. You're going to need a medium-sized brush. And I have my other medium-sized brush here, too. Look, see, one's got an angle, and one doesn't have an angle. So it doesn't matter as long as it's smaller than this one. All right, so I don't think we're really going to use the big one until later on. Uh, and get some water, and let's start painting. Okay. So to start with, you can paint your canvas this way or this way whichever way that you want to hang it up and i don't know maybe mine's better that way i don't know i don't know i don't know which way to go maybe this way no this way. okay i'm gonna go this way up to you you can paint it whichever way you want but uh, we're gonna paint a cute little shark we are gonna start with gray so we're gonna take the black and the white with our little round brush Today, all my paint isn't the, the thick stuff, so it's going to run a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of gray. So take some white, move it over, and make some gray. This is, oh, see, I make mistakes. I'm messy too. Hold on to your brushes. So I've got my gray, and I'm going to do my outline of my shark. So we have to leave room at the top for his... Um, little fin that sticks out of the water. So leave some room there for that, but start right there. And then, well, let's put a dot there. And then here at the bottom, we're gonna put a dot here for where his chin is. And then one over here for the side of his face and one over there. So doesn't that look like a diamond shape? It's kind of what we're gonna paint, you guys. So, but it's gonna be a little bit rounded. For now, you can just start by doing your diamond shape like this and then we'll make it a little bit rounder just like whoopsie it's okay to make mistakes you just do this we're going to color it all in gray anyway so that's the start of our shape now we're just going to make it a little bit round so make it a little rounder here like cap it like that like a rainbow and then over here too it's going to have rounded sides a little bit and over here, a little rounded side. And at the bottom, this is his big chin. So he can go down even farther. If you want it to go down farther there so he's got a bigger head, then you do that. So let's just make a little bit roundy so it's not such a square line. A little bit roundy. Here's a little bit roundy. And then there. Okay, so that's the shape of his head. Looks ridiculous with that triangle inside, but we're going to make it all work out. So he has to have that fin. Remember I said the one that sticks out of the water? And so we're just right on top. See how it kind of curves a little bit? You want to have that little curve. And then there's another little curve. And down here, he's got a fin that comes curved like a sideways smile. And then a sideways smile. You can make those nice and long. Make the same one over here. It doesn't have to be as big. It's kind of cute if it isn't. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller. It kind of looks like it's farther back too. Maybe a bit wider. Then we have to give him a tail. All right, here we go. Tail up here like this. And it curves in. So it's like a smile here. And then a backwards sideways smile. And then another one. That really wide. It has to be wider. It has to be wider. Oh, look at that. There you go. So now all we have to do is color that guy in. So I'm going to take my medium brush because we want this to hurry up. So make some more gray. If you're out of gray, you have to make some more. I'm out. So I'm going to make some more gray. 
And then we're going to color all of his face in. Oh boy, here's where we get rid of all those lines that we thought was a mistake. Just color that in. It could be like the sharks that you find at Finding Nemo, the ones that were helping Dory out. Doesn't matter how you color it in, that all has to be gray. I'm painting on plastic today too, so it's going to be a little bit different. Oh, every time I go in, I get a different color gray. It doesn't matter. Get it on there, and then I'm going to smooth it all out. And you're going to have to get your big person to blow dry the face because we have to put eyeballs and we have to put big teeth on here so it has to it has to um be dry otherwise you know what happens with the white it keeps turning gray 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 all right so there is that and then we're going to be painting his all his fins are going to be gray too but they're going to get lost so we have to take our little brush the little one with some black and right here where the fin is, let's put some black marks so that we don't lose them. Okay, then we'll know where they are. There, just for now. And then go ahead, make your gray, and then just paint these all in. Starting to look like a shark, guys? I think so. We're going to paint the water after. I just didn't want a whole bunch of blue in here because then it's hard to cover up that blue. Baby shark, shark, shark. Now I can't get that song out of my head. Baby shark, shark, shark. Okay, there's your shark face. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is a good job. Okay, what do we want to do next? Let's take our little brush now that we have this black. And we're going to go all around and outline all of this stuff. So, doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Doesn't have to all be um, super small little lines. Doesn't even have to be exactly on it. But we have to go all the way around all the parts. Just so it looks cartoony. Take your time. I go really fast because I'm old and I've been doing this for a long time. And around there. You guys can do this. I know you can. Oh, missed a piece there. Here. Oh, see how fat that got? It's okay. It looks cute. Just keep going with it. There, we've got all that outlined. Good job, guys. We do have to give him some character. What are we going to do? Um, let's give him a great huge smile, guys. Say, big toothy grin. Little, Here's a little cheek there. Looks like a little sideways smile. And then way over here. So it's right in the corner here. That's where his cheeks are. So I'm going to put a smile from here to here. Oh my goodness, that's a pretty big smile. Comes here, it goes way down and catches up there. And then here, it just goes smile. We're going to paint that all white and then we're going to give him some sharp teeth. Let's give him a little shark nose. It's round like a rainbow with little breathing holes and then some eyes. He doesn't have scary eyes. This isn't a scary one. They are oval like an egg. And oval like an <laughs> egg. I, my little sister is here watching me. I think she's taking pictures. I don't know if sharks have eyebrows, but mine does. Okay, so the rest is white. 
right now is where your big person should be blow drying your um, canvas so that you can put the white on. I'm going to try doing the white, even though it's wet, it could be kind of messy. So if yours is dry, you won't make the mess that I'm going to make. So in here where his teeth are going to be, this is all going to be white. Baby shark, shark, shark. Oh, stop singing that song. <laughs> you ever get that when you're singing a song and then it's in your head all day long? So now I'm going to be singing about sharks all day long. <laughs> all right. Okay. So see how mine's not really going white very well because the gray wasn't dry. So I might have to do that twice. And then circle in his eyes. And this one as well. Not really, really white. Okay, so let's give him some little highlights here. I'm going to put a little bit of where the, maybe the light hits him here. Just some little ticky marks. A little bit of light there. Oh, right here on the smile. Mm, on his fin a little bit. How about this one on the inside there? That's fun. Maybe a little bit right there. Okay, I'm going to try to make his uh, teeth a little bit whiter. Don't know if it's going to work. Yours is going to be really, really white because you're going to listen to my instructions and you're going to blow dry this whole thing nice and dry so that you only have to do it once. Okay, there it is. That's all I'm going to do with that. We're going to pretend that that's really nice and bright white. You guys, this will be nice and bright white. Okay, and here, um, I'm going to give him some eyeballs. So black circles right there. But my white's, now my white is all wet, so it's not showing up like it should. And there's a black circle there. Oh, he's looking cute. And his teeth, sharks have very, very sharp teeth. So we're going to make this. Almost like what you do with your pumpkins. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And then I'll make it a little darker so you guys can see that better. And mine's going gray because my white is still wet. There. Baby shark, shark, shark. Oh, I did it again. I sang it again. Okay, so the rest of this is really super easy. Once this is all really dry, you want it to be really dry because you're going to paint the ocean around him. So you can mix um, blue and white together. Boy, I've got a lot of paint here. That's way too much paint. So I'm just going to mix blue and white together until I get a color that I like for the ocean. And I'm going to go with my little brush all the way around my shark. Remember how we do that? My ocean's really light blue this time. Oh my goodness. You can make your ocean any color you want. So go all the way around your shark with a smaller brush so that you don't make mistakes. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around him just so that I don't drag that black in here and I don't get blue on top of my shark. All right, and once you've got that all done, then you can take that great big brush and then you can go a lot faster with the big brush and you won't hit your shark. There, see how easy that is? We're going to do the whole painting like that. Dee, 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 dee. Just like that. So let me quickly go and do this. You're going to take so much more time with yours. And uh, if you're really enjoying this, you have your big person subscribed to my channel, please. And then you can get these. If you subscribe, then you don't have to wait until next week. I will probably do them earlier and they'll be there ahead of time. That's the joy of subscribing. 
and you can always come back anytime you want and paint these because I'm not going to take them off. They'll always be there for you. Way easier to find if you subscribe than to scroll through Facebook trying to find the one you want. Just saying. And then send me pictures. I like the pictures. Okay, look how easy this is. So easy when you've got all the edges all filled up. Baby shark, to shark, to shark. Am I seeing that, 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 that? There we go. All done. I think you need some bubbles. I'm going to take my little round brush again. Little round brush. And do I have any white left? I do. I made a real mess. Look how messy I got. It's okay. We're going to give some bubbles. So let's start here. Circle. Little circle. Oopsie, that's way too much paint. And then a little circle beside it. And then if we do another one here. Background's wet, so it's hard. Maybe one so there. The little one connects to it. Then it looks like bubbles. You just have a bunch of circles. It's just going to look like polka dots. So you want to put some big ones and maybe a great big one there. And then a little one. Bubbles. There you go. Can you guys see all that? You nice and close. You see his bubbles? All right. And that is your shark. Make sure you guys sign it. Sometimes I even put the year on there so I can see how much better I get every year. There we go. Tammy. That's my name. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you tomorrow and we'll be painting a mermaid tail. Bye.